Welcome back to Solar Impulse TV, live from the Mission Control Center in Monaco. Well, tonight, Solar Impulse 2 and Bertrand Picard were supposed to be taking off from Cairo International Airport on their way to Abu Dhabi. But unfortunately, the flight will not be happening as planned. And here to tell me a little bit more about what happened is our mission director, Raymond Claire. And uh, yeah. yes, good evening, Raymond. Yeah, good evening. And uh, so tell me, what are the reasons why tonight's flight is not going to be happening? So the main reason for this postponing is uh, that uh, Bertrand is not uh, very healthy tonight. And this is the main reason. But uh, we have to look what was uh, the flight. So a very, very challenging flight. Yep. 48 hours minimum, maybe 72 hours. Yep. In this aircraft, this, this is a big challenge. If you are healthy, if the aircraft is fine, in normal condition, it's a... It's very, very difficult. Huh? Yeah. We didn't did, made a lot of uh, very long flights, and this is one of them. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the, the main challenge is for this flight, it's going to be very, very warm over the yeah. Saudi desert. Yeah. We, we have uh, uh, ISA plus 25, so it's standard atmosphere temperature plus 25, so it's okay. really hot, hot, hot. Yeah. And for the pilot, it will be a big challenge. Yeah. Uh, Up to quite high altitudes as well, right? Yeah. All altitude, all, yeah. all the altitude. Yeah. So even at low altitude at night, it will be, uh, I, I think, 25 or not, not uh, almost 30 degrees in the yeah. aircraft. So uh, it will be very challenging. And uh, also uh, thermics quite high, yeah. uh, up to level 200. So, yeah. and with this temperature, we have some risk for the autopilot to to, to have. So thermals create a bit of turbulence. Don't turbulence, they? Yeah. yes. Yeah. So maybe we'll have to fly manual for a long time. So it was very challenging. Yeah. In addition, uh, Bertrand had some stomach problems yesterday. Tonight, this morning, he told me, I don't know if I can fly. Yeah. And I said, OK, take a rest. And so let's, let's, let's have a look. Because he was really wanting to make this flight, because he saw, OK, the window is possible. Yeah. Uh, he had a good sleep this afternoon. He could eat. And uh, he came to the airport. We had the pilot briefing. He was really Sounding pretty good earlier, yeah. Absolutely. And then. Because people might wonder why we didn't, you know, if he was feeling unwell this morning, why didn't we cancel earlier? But it's, you know. Yeah, but you know, uh, Bertrand, he will not uh, resign as uh, 24 hours yes, before takeoff. He take wants off. to battle. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and paddle through it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's his. Uh, his uh, mind, uh, so yeah. he want to, to, to achieve and also this he knows challenge. The team here has worked very hard to make it, yeah. you know, to make yeah, it yeah. work. So. so we prepared everything. We knew maybe uh, it's, uh, it will uh, be postponed. But finally, now, uh, before going in the aircraft, he had uh, again some uh, pain and, and, and big problems. So uh, the wise decision was to, to postpone this flight. Yeah. Well, and of course, it's a very special flight. It is supposed to be the, the final flight one. on the round yes. world mission. So he should be, you want him to, we want everybody on the team feeling well and excited about it. So we definitely don't want the pilot to, yeah, feeling. Yeah, yeah. feeling but uh, safety Ill. first, huh? I think the, yeah. here uh, it's not possible to be in this aircraft and At you want to go to the, and, yeah. to the toilet every 10 minutes. So. No. <laughs> that's that's, that's not an option. This is, this is, there's no toilet in the back of the yeah. aircraft. And, yeah. um, and then what about the planning? As, as we were just saying, there's lots of planning that's happened over the last couple of days. Is that all going to waste or will we be no, able no, to? No, I, I think everything yeah. we prepared will help for the, for, for, for the next uh, occasion. Yeah. So all the issues with high, uh, high temperatures, with the wind, uh, we were supposed to take off from a taxiway golf in Cairo, yeah. which is really special. Huh? Normally not allowed, but the Egypt, Egypt, it's actually Egyptian a taxiway. Is taxiway, that, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. it's between the runway. It's not normally you don't take off or land on this yeah. part, but we were allowed to do this. So it will help for, for the preparation of the flight. Yeah. So of course, uh, this work is not for, done for nothing. Yeah. And maybe you can tell us a little bit at this point, do we have any sense of what is going to happen for the, for the final flight? Do we have yes, a sense of the weather? I and can tell you that we will not fly in 24 hours. So okay. the takeoff was planned in, in one hour from now. Yeah. So we will not fly in 25 hours. Okay. For sure, because the weather over Saudi Ara Arabian uh, Peninsula is not good. Uh, for the, I think even for the next two days, the meteorologist said 
two days no flight. Okay. I say one day no flight for the time being. Tomorrow yeah. morning we'll study and we'll give a new update. So definitely yeah. no flight before tomorrow, well, tomorrow So midnight. no flight before the night from Monday to, to Tuesday. To Monday to Tuesday. Okay, yeah. so excellent. So that, that's what, just so everyone knows for keeping when they should next tune in. Yeah. Um, excellent. Well, that is good information, and that's going to be one that we're going to be, again, getting very excited and ready for, and hopefully by then Bertrand will be rested, feeling 100%, and the whole team will be feeling 100% yeah. excited. Um, you know, the funny thing is uh, for the briefing this evening, I, had, I didn't have my tire. That is true. I hadn't yeah. noticed that. That's a sign. By chance. Because ah. otherwise I would have to wear it until the flight, maybe 48 hours. It's difficult to go in the, sh <laughs> in the shower. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, they, do, they say pilots, are, you know, pilots are a little bit, yeah. yeah, there's a little superstition going there. So yeah. perhaps this is, this, that was a sign. Yeah. Um, excellent. Well, we are also going to give you, a, there's going to be a little a statement from the pilots themselves. They spoke to um, our colleagues in Cairo a little bit earlier this evening. So we'll leave you with that. And then we will definitely be keeping you posted as to to when the final flight with Bertrand Picard and Solar Impulse 2 will be. So stay tuned. It's clear that in an airplane, you cannot stop, open the door, go outside close to a tree and come back huh, if you're sick. Here it was a two-day flight. It was really a hard one. Huh? Very hot temperatures, turbulence, clouds, high altitude with it's oxygen a, it, for a long it's, time. It's special. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. it's a special one. Yeah. So, it's I cannot the limit take for the airplane, and I guess it's the limit yeah. for the pilot. When you feel good. Exactly. And when I arrived here, actually, I was feeling good. Uh, this morning, I was out. Impossible to imagine flying. And I treated myself quite well and slept and medication. And this evening, André saw me arriving. He said, oh, he's good again. And then everything came back. It was hot. I was standing there with a press. I, I couldn't... I couldn't stay until the end of the press conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to go and sit. I mean, it's a sign for you, I tell you. Yeah, so There is no better sign than this one. <laughs> well, it's true in the plane I should not stand up. I could, I could sit all, yeah, all the time. But nevertheless. Huh? No, but as pilots say, it's better to be on the ground wishing to be in the, in the sky than to be in the sky wishing to be on the ground. So this is clear. Yeah, yeah. Once you take off, you cannot say, oh, I feel bad, I have to stop. It's uh, difficult. Maybe it's a much more difficult decision to postpone a takeoff than to take off. But okay, it's like this. Andre, but it feels you strong. It, it makes you feel strong when you take the decision. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, makes you feel that you are on top of the situation. That that you can, despite the pressure, despite the the, the wish to proceed, uh, because you project yourself already in the goal. So despite this, that you can say, okay, no, I don't go. I think it's really no, when I was, but when I was resting this afternoon, I was entirely in the flight. Uh, I was really flying, looking at the things, imagining the situation, the strategy. So really, uh, it's you, difficult you find, now. Yeah. It's difficult yeah. now to, to yeah. go back and uh, switch yeah. on postpone. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now I don't feel well and. It's,